This video is by Straight Goods News. SG News. Oh, wait, uh, it sounds like Ryan Ambrose has a new talking point. If I may read it, it's that the uh, new options analysis is not going to be constrained by the current SOR. What do you make of that? It sounds interesting. Well, I think if they're not constrained by the current statement of requirements, then they're back to freewheeling on this thing. Uh, because uh, they, they haven't confirmed that they've changed or amended the statement of requirements, uh, but they're not being constrained by them either. And so I think uh, we're at a point where the government's making it up as they go along there. Doesn't it suggest, though, that maybe that they're not they're not constrained by that as far that everybody seems to think uh, limits the government to just buying the F-35? Isn't that actually kind of good? Is that what you're looking for? No, what we're looking for is uh, a statement of requirements uh, that will allow a open, fair competition uh, for the replacement for the CF-18. And nothing that Rona Ambrose said today provides me with any assurance that that's where this government is going. Uh, I mean, what she, what she didn't do today uh, is say we have an amended statement of requirements and Canadians, uh, this is what it says, and here it is for you all to look at and review so that you can assure yourselves that this is no longer a process that is wired for the F-35. But she wouldn't necessarily be able to make those public anyway. Well, why not? Why, why can't they make it uh, public? Why can't they be clear with Canadians exactly what they think they need in the form of a jet fighter to replace the CF-18? Why, why, why does that have to be hidden from public view? I mean, what they're talking about doing is spending, at this point in time, under current estimates, well over $40 billion on an F-35. I think it's incumbent on a government spending taxpayers' money, that much taxpayers' money, that they be clear with the Canadian public what exactly it is that they're spending it on. Were you part of the committee that uh, just released the public council committee that no. released? Okay. What did you make of the report? You mentioned it briefly in your question today. Uh, you want something yeah. from me, you call it a whitewash. You sort of yeah, it's well, it's, it, you know, it's not dealing uh, with the Auditor General's report. If you put one up against the other, the AG's report against what the Conservatives have, have, have produced, uh, it is not responsive to uh, the, the more fundamental criticisms that the, the AG have made. And the point I raised today is the statement of requirements. I mean, ultimately, uh, if this government is going to uh, undertake a real options analysis, uh, they can't do that until they confirm that there is a different statement of requirements. And to ignore that criticism by the AG is to miss uh, uh, a foundation 